In NBA 2K25, I am teaming up Steph Curry and Shaquille O'Neal. As you can see, we're here on the Golden State Warriors on NBA 2K25. Instead of Steph Curry being at top of the roster, we now have Shaq. So I put Prime Shaq on the Golden State Warriors. That would be pretty interesting to see how well this duo would do here on NBA 2K25. Plus, the Warriors definitely need a center as well. And why not add Shaq to the roster and see how things play out? So if you're all ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this video and let's get started. Be sure to like, subscribe for each content. Let me guys show you the rotation first before we kick into the simulation. And here's the rotation we're rocking with on 2K25. Steph Curry at the 1, Pojemski at the 2, Kaminga at the 3, Draymond Green at the 4, and Shaq, of course, at the 5. Coming off the bench is Andrew Wiggins, Buddy Heal, De'Anthony Melton, and Kavon Looney. Let's see how things play out on 2K25 with this duo of Steph and Shaq. So I'm going to be doing three years of the simulation. The goal for each and every single season, of course, is to win an NBA championship. Hopefully by the end of today's video, we can at least get one recorded. That would be very nice to see. Also, an Another goal for each season is to potentially win an MVP as well. But obviously, of course, the main goal is to win an NBA championship. So without any further ado, let's get into this simulation. I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. Let's hope for some good results. At the end of the season, Luka Doncic is your MVP 33, 10, and 10 for him this season. Rijal Share Rookie of the Year with the Hawks. I'm in Thompson, six man, victory defense player of the year, and I'm in Thompson is also your most proved player. We do end up with uh, no players on the all NBA first team, though. Shaq does make the all NBA second team, so that's what you like to see. No curry on the the third team at all. Shaq is also on the all defensive first team. We were the first seed out there in the Western Conference, so that's of course what you like to see. Checking out the player stats at the end of the season. Shaq led the way in scoring for us 27 half points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, 2.3 blocks. That's pretty good for him. Curry had 24 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists per game this year. Kaminga had 16 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. He had 11. Wiggins had 11. Shout out Brandon Pojemski as well and Draymond Green at the end of the season. We were the first seed out there in the Western Conference. 63 and 19 on the season. We won the last seven games of the year, so we're you know we're doing really well going into the playoffs. 34 and 6 at home, 29 13 on the road. Let's see what happens in the NBA playoffs. We're gonna be taking on the Pelicans in the first round. CJ McCollum, DeJounte Murray, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Daniel Tice is now their starting center. They got a good squad though, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see what happens. Game number one is going our way. 122 to 95. Shaq's just absolutely killer. 32, 17, 4 and 3 blocks. Also 30 points and six times for a step. Curry. Game number two is also ours, 108 to 104. Shaq again, 37, 19, 4, 2, and 5. That's crazy. Also, he made that many free throws too, which is pretty, pretty good if you ask me. He made 11 out of 17. Not bad for Shaq. Game number three is also ours, the Jonathan Murray, 19 for them. Uh, Steph Curry had 36 points in this one, seven boards and six assists as well. 21, 15 for Shaq, only three and nine from the free throw line, but you know, no complaints there because we're up 3 0 in the series, a 4 0 in the series. We're moving on to the next round, taking on the San Antonio Spurs, who just defeated the Denver Nuggets. Wow. Spurs in this Chris Paul, Demba Sell, Kellen Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, and Victor Wembanyama. They also trade for Isaiah Joe, which is a pretty good trade if you ask me. Game number one is going to be ours, 118 to 99, 31, 10, and four blocks for Shaq in game number one. Game number two is also going our way. 34, 11, 4 for him. 29 and 10 for Steph Curry. And Victor at 28 and 13. Imagine that matchup, Victor against Shaq. I mean, that's a pretty good matchup right there. Game number three to us, 124 to 102. Kellen Johnson at 28. Shaq at 28 and 7 and 3. Shout out Steph Curry as well. Can we win the next game? And yes, we do. We're going to be going to the Western Conference Finals against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jay McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, and Nash. Reed, so you know they got another good squad let's see if we can get the job done obviously this is the toughest matchup we've had so far 26 and 4 for Steph Curry in the first game also 22 and 14 for Shaq we win by 8 in this one despite 35 from Anthony Edwards game number two is also going our way 30 points for Steph Curry 15 14 for Shaq right there 125 to 92 so we're just kind of cruising right now through the playoffs as soon as I say that, that we lose 138 to 112 that was a brutal loss 47 points for Anthony Edwards and 31 for Carl Anthony Towns. Game number four, though, is also ours. 25 points for Anthony Edwards. Shaq had 39 points and 20 rebounds, four assists, four blocks. That's actually crazy. Carrying us, really, right now, they're kind of carrying us. Game number five is going to the Timberwolves, 115 to 110, 26 and 17 for Shaq. But Edwards, you know, is carrying them at the moment. Game number seven, though, is going to be happening because we end up losing in game number six. Let's go to Simcast here. But for game number seven, let's see how things play out. Of course, I mean, both teams want to win this game badly because you're going to be going to the NBA Finals if you do win. I will potentially hop in if it's a little bit closer. 
but it's going to be kind of the Timberwolves pulling away at the last moment and they do 133 to 126 so the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to the NBA Finals taking on the Sixers as we get eliminated in the Western Conference Finals. The Sixers have won the NBA Championship with Joel Embiid as your Finals MVP. So close but unfortunately we can't get the job done in year number one. Let's see what happens in year number two and hopefully we can win next season. Year number two Luka is also your MVP 30 points 10 rebounds, 10 assists a game for him practically. I mean, it's going to be hard for Shaq to win MVP. I mean, Luka's going to be putting up triple-double every single year. Cooper Flagg, rookie of the year with the Blazers. Dylan Harper, sixth man, fifth year defense player of the year. And Robert Dillingham is your most proved player. And uh, no Shaq on the first team again, though. Uh, actually, he does make the second team. That's what you like to see. And he's going to be on the all-defensive first team as well. So, the, I mean, I see this duo's doing pretty good. Of course, we got eliminated in the Western Conference Finals last year. But we're the first seed. We're also the second seed this season. So, obviously, you know, things are doing pretty well so far. At the end of this season, Curry actually leads the way in scoring for us. 26 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. Shaq had 23 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists a game for him this season. Also, 2 blocks. Kaminga had 15. Wiggins, 13. Pajemski had 10. We got Ubre now on the roster too, nine and a half. Obviously, he played for the Warriors a couple years back, but you know, I have no idea what trade they made. Moses Moody had seven points, and Draymond Green had six, five, and four this season. And the season second seed, like I mentioned before, 62 and 20 on the year, two games back behind the Dallas Mavericks. We're 34 and six at home, so I mean, we're practically unbeatable at home this season. We're going to be taking on the Pelicans in the first round. So obviously, we beat the Pelicans last year in the first round. And I truly believe that we have a better team this season, and uh, despite them losing that one game there, I think we should. Be able to beat them and move on to the next round. And yes, we do. Taking on the Timberwolves, who obviously we lost to in the Western Conference Finals. Hopefully, this year is going to be different in the second round. But the Timberwolves take game one, 119, 115. Shaq had 29 and 11. Curry, 22. Wiggins had 22, but 38 for Anthony Yabbers. You know, we're kind of having a tough time stopping him. Game number two is also going to Minnesota, 113 to 109. Curry had 28 points in this one. Wiggins had 21, 8. And uh, yeah, so things are not looking good. Plus, Shaq had 14 points only. Kind of hoping for more from him. Edwards had 40 points again in game number two. That's crazy. Game number three is going to be ours, 111 to 90. Conley had 20 points to this one. Curry, 31. So that's pretty good. Can we come back in the series and even up? Yes, we do. It's now a two to two series. What about in game number five? What's going to happen? And it's going to be going to Minnesota. That's not good. 115 to 102. 23 for Curry, 18 for Projemski, but 48 for Anthony. Yammers, we have no answer for him at all. Can we win in game number six? And no, we do not. The Warriors have been eliminated by the Timberwolves now for back to back season. We just can't get by the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's gonna be Dallas, though, making it to the NBA Finals against the Knicks. And the Knicks have won the championship with Jalen Brunson as your Finals MVP. Hopefully, next year is gonna be a little better because obviously, that's gonna be the last year of the simulation. Hopefully, we can somehow get past the Timberwolves, but we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys at the end of next season and uh, let's hope for a much better result. And Hopefully we can win. This time around, Anthony Edwards win the MVP 34, 6, and 5 for him. We got Cam Boozer now rookie of the year with the Spurs. That's crazy. Devin Carter, sixth man with the Kings. Victor Defense Player of the Year and Trey Johnson is your most improved player. Again, no Shaq on the all NBA first team though, but obviously Edwards, Victor, Luka, Jokic, and Giannis. I mean, it's not too crazy. Shaq does make the all NBA second team though. And no Steph Curry on the third. Also shout out Cooper Flag for being on that team. Once again, we are the first seed, but let's check the player stats at the end of the season. Lead away in scoring for was Shaq 24 points 13 rebounds four assists and two blocks per game this year Curry at 22 points three rebounds five assists Kaminga up to 17 points we have Moses Mooney now 13 Pojemski at 10 5 and 4 pretty good Ubre had 9 we have Isaiah Joe now on the squad eight points I'm sure that was great coming off the bench for us Malcolm Brogdon and Trace Jackson Davis as well Draymond only played 14 games so that was pretty interesting uh, he didn't really play many minutes there to Gary Payton as well and uh, we were the first seed again 64 and 18. Uh, so we're at four games up over the Timberwolves in that season. 32 and 9 at home, as well as 32 and 9 on the road. Obviously, now, so we end up with Timberwolves on the other side of the bracket. Hopefully, we can try and avoid avoid them, but you know, they're probably gonna. Hopefully, the Mavericks beat them. That's, that's gonna be our goal. But we're gonna be taking on Memphis in the first round. Obviously, we have to get by each team first. Ja, Jane Ivy. We got Obi Toppin, Zubach, Gigi Jackson, Zach Eady. I mean, they're pretty solid, but I mean, I think we should beat them. 
but as soon as I say that, we lose. Game number one is going to be going to Memphis, 129 to 124. Shaq had 29 points in this one and 12 rebounds, but Curry has 23, 4, and 7. And uh, yeah, GG Jackson, 30 points off the bench. Pretty good game for him. Also, Ja did very good. Game number two for us, 128 to 97 as a blowout. 32 points for Steph Curry, 23 for Moses Moody, and 1996 for Shaquille O'Neal in this one. Game number three is ours, 156 to 125. Jane Ivey had 40 points. Great game for him. Curry just dropped 33 and 11. Kaminga 28, 7, 5. Moody 22. I say Joe 17. Shaq only 15 points, but we win, so that's all that matters. Game number four, though, is Memphis, 134 to 126. G. Jackson absolutely killing it for them. Geez. Curry had 30 points for us in game number four. And in game number five, it is going to be ours, 137 to 129. Kaminga had 37 points in this one. Good for him. Shaq 35, 15, and 10. Curry 28. Can we move on to the next round? And yes, we do. We're going to be taking on the OKC Thunder. Of course, a very tough matchup. Uh, who's on the team now? We got Shea, Lou Dor, J Dub, Chet, Case, and Wallace. You know, honestly, this team, they're still good. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? That's the OKC Thunder. Game number one is ours, 120 to 103. Moses Moody had 24 points in this one. Curry had 19. So yeah, one out. That's what you like to see. Game number two is also going to us. 130 to 127. A very close matchup. But Curry at 38, 9, and 6 in this one. Kaminga 25, 7, and 2. Shea at 32, 4, and 8. And so yeah, I mean, we're up 2 out. Pretty good so far. But it's now 2-1. I mean, obviously, the Thunder are going to win some games there. You, they take game 3, 126 to 113. Shea at 30 points. Nothing too crazy right there. Game number 4 is also ours. Can we win in game number 5? Yes, we do. We're going to be going to the Western Conference Finals against the Minnesota Timberwolves. I swear, if we lose to the Timberwolves this year, I don't know what to say because, obviously, the Timberwolves have beat us the last two seasons. Hopefully, this year is going to be a year that we no longer uh, lose to the Timberwolves. In game number 1, though, we end up losing. Uh, 129 to 101. Absolute blowout. 29 for Curry in this one, 36 for Rob Dillingham, and 36 for Anthony Edwards as well. Let's see what happens in game number two against Minnesota, and it's going to be ours this time, 115 to 110, 34 and 6 and 5 for Shaq, 17 for Moody, Edwards though, we just can't stop him at all, but we take game two, game number three is also ours, 118 to 114, a very close matchup, Edwards at 30 for them, Shaq at 35, Curry 21, but we're up 2-1 in the series, it's now a 2-2 two -two series, 125 to 122, 40 for Anthony Edwards, 24 for Towns, and 20 for Dillingham. Uh, yeah, so it's now a 2-2 two -to -two series. Game number 5, though, we do win 151-116. to 116. Actually blew him out. 32 for Curry, 27 for Shaq, 22 for Kaminga. I mean, we, that's kind of just absolutely killed him right there in game number 5. Can we win and go to the NBA Finals, though? Yes, we do. Finally, we beat the Timberwolves. We're going to go in to the NBA Finals against the Hornets. Shaq is your Western Conference Finals MVP, 29-11-3 and 2 blocks per game in that series. Also, and LaMelo is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. The Hornets, they got LaMelo. Melo Ball, Ace Bailey, Brandon Miller got Siakam now on squad too, Mark Williams, Nick Smith Jr., Miles Bridges, Nikola Jovic, Josh Green, and we got Greg here. Uh, I think they're okay, but I still think we're, we should win because I think our team's definitely better. But, you know, again, the Horns take game one, 125 to 123. Kaminga had 25, Shaq had 25, 9, 8, and 5 blocks, but we end up losing because Lamelo had 28 for Charlotte. Game number two, though, is also going to the Horns. What's going on? 126 to 117. Because we really can't stop a Lamella ball 29, 5, and 13. Hopefully we can come back in the series. I don't know what's going to happen. Game number three. Can we win? And yes, we do. We do win by 17. LaMelo again at 28 and 10. But we do end up winning 34, 11, and 9 for Shaq. Can we win in game number four? Yes, we do. Also a blowout. Jeez. That's what I'm expecting at the beginning of the series. But they take the first two games. 38, 8, and 6, and 4, and 3 for Shaq. That's crazy. Joe, Isaiah Joe in game four. Game number five is going to be ours. We win 127, 97. Also a blowout again. Shaq. Malcolm Brogdon as well. We're now one win away from the NBA Finals Championship. I want to get some game action too, so let's hop into this ball game. All right, we're now here in game number six of the NBA Finals. The Warriors are currently up three to two in this ball game, or in the series, I should say. Uh, of course, if they win this game, they'll win the NBA Finals. Curry with the deep three pointer. It's going to be off 134 to 127, just under a minute left to go in this ball game. Of course, the Warriors can still come back and potentially win, but obviously it's very doubtful. Lamella Ball, he's got the ball for the Charlotte Hornets at the moment. Over the Miles Bridges in the corner. He's going to miss that three. Obviously, they need that three to go in. Steph Curry's got the ball on the other end now for Golden State. Currently just goes right by LaMelo Ball, and he's going to get that mid-range jumper to go. Timeout, Charlotte Hornets. 
The worst part about this too is because Shaq somehow fouled out of this ball game. I mean, so of course he's not going to be out there on the court, but it is what it is because we definitely should win this ball game, you know, barring any extreme circumstances at the moment. LaMelo, he's got the ball for the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, they got to score quickly here. What's he going to do? He's going to get inside and he's going to get that layup to go 136 to 129. So 26 seconds left to go. I mean, they still hypothetically could come back. I mean, imagine, you know, this would be the perfect time to have Shaq out there on the court and he's missing free throws and he get threes on the other end. But it's not going to happen right here we have 17 seconds left about a two second difference between the shot and the game clock jonathan kaminga inside and he's going to miss we got chase jackson davis though he's going to get the offensive rebound i thought curry was going to shoot it but he doesn't over to moody and then pojemski in the corner four seconds left to go on the clock i want curry to shoot it but he's not going to shoot it. regardless of that 136 to 129 and as you can see the golden state warriors bench is erupting as they're going to win the nba championship i have put steph curry and Shaq on the golden state warriors together and this duo is going to come out on top and win an NBA championship. Although for some reason, the Hornets are celebrating. What in the world is this glitch? Why are the Hornets celebrating? And why are the why are the Warriors losing? The Warriors just won this ball game. Uh, what is going on? Like, I'm dead serious. The Warriors just won this ball game. Man. <laughs> That's actually crazy. I got to send that glitch in. Oh my God. They're, why are they celebrating? The whole... Okay, yeah, look, and they got the Warriors celebrating on this end. That's, cra <laughs> That's actually crazy. Oh my God. Regardless of that and that weird glitch, the Warriors do end up winning an NBA championship. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please sure to like, subscribe for future content. Uh, if you want me to team up any players like this, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to do so. And yeah, there you can see they're obviously celebrating. We got Jonathan Kaminga holding up the championship trophy. I still can't believe I'm watching it. I'm like, I know they just won the game and the Warriors had a or up three to two coming into this ball game. They, oh, the Hornets, like, look at all the Hornets fans too. Like, a lot of them are cheering as well. Like, this makes no sense. Regardless of that, 2K, come on. Regardless of that, we got Shaq is going to be your finals MVP. Look at the size difference between him and Adam Silver. Regardless of that, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Want me to do this any other players? Let me know down in the comment section below. If not, hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.